In the shadowed heartland of America, where the veil between the worlds grows thin, there lies a tradition that both exhilarates and terrifies those who dare to partake. These are not your ordinary parties, the kind filled with laughter and music, but gatherings that stir the depths of the human psyche, invoking primal fears that lay dormant within the soul. Once a year, as the moon casts an eerie glow upon the land, the townsfolk of the forgotten village of Hollowbrook gather. The townspeople, cloaked in heavy shrouds of secrecy, prepare for the most infamous event of the year, the Night of Haunts. It is said that the spirits of the past, the twisted echoes of history, and the darkest facets of human nature manifest on this dreadful night. The preparations are meticulous as every detail must be perfect to conjure the terror that has become a morbidly cherished tradition. The town square, usually a place of community and celebration, transforms into a menacing maze of twisted trees and fog. The houses adorned with Moro's decorations are transformed into labyrinths of fear, each room more chilling than the last. As the moon climbs higher in the sky, the air becomes thick with unease. The villagers, dressed in costumes that blur the line between reality and nightmare, gather in hushed whispers. Their eyes gleam with a mixture of anticipation and trepidation. The children who should be tucked away in their beds roam the streets in gillish masks, clutching talismans against the coming horror. The festivities begin with a procession, led by the village elder, a figure cloaked in tattered robes and carrying an ancient tongue. With each step, the elder recites incantations that resonate in the very bones of those who listen. The air grows colder, the shadows deeper, as the boundary between the mundane and the supernatural blurs. In the heart of the village, a grand bonfire roars to life. Its flames dance with an otherworldly light, casting elongated shadows that writhe and twist like the limbs of spectral beings. The villagers gather around, drawn to the fire like moths to a flame. As the elder reads from the tum, the fire's crackling seems to form words that only the most attuned can decipher. Voice synthesis performed by Yandex Cloud Speechicket. As the night wears on, the true horror of the night of haunts reveals itself. Guests are invited to partake in a series of challenges, each more terrifying than the last. They must confront their deepest fears, face their most haunting regrets, and navigate through illusions that distort reality itself. Those who falter, those who lose themselves to the darkness, are said to become permanent residents of the spectral realm, forever bound to the village as its cursed denizens. The hours pass like a fevered dream, as participants stumble from one ordeal to the next their screams mingling with the night's macabre symphony. The line between reality and nightmare becomes increasingly blurred, and even the most steadfast souls find themselves questioning their sanity. Whispers of specters and apparitions echo through the air, and the boundaries of time and space warp in ways that defy comprehension. As dawn approaches, the survivors emerge from the night's nightmare shaken to their very core. Their eyes, haunted by what they've witnessed, will forever bear the scars of their ordeal. The village slowly returns to normal, the decorations fading like phantoms at daybreak. The townspeople resume their daily lives, but the memories of the night of haunts linger an indelible stain on their souls. And so, in the heartland of America, the Night of Haunts continues an ancient ritual that tests the boundaries of fear and reality. It is a tradition that leaves those who partake forever changed, a chilling reminder that the darkness within is as potent as the supernatural horrors that dwell in the shadows. So should you ever find yourself on the road through the forgotten village of Hollowbrook, be wary of the secrets it holds and the terrifying tradition that unfolds. Beneath the moon's dread gaze, In the heartland of the United States, nestled amidst vast stretches of cornfields and forgotten towns, there lay a mansion known as the Hollow Groove House. This imposing structure, aged and worn by time, had a sinister history that sent shivers down the spines of those who dared to whisper its name. It was said that the mansion was built atop an ancient burial ground, where restless spirits of the past lay trapped, seeking retribution for their unjustly taken lives. As night descended upon the land, a pall of darkness clung to the hollow groove house, enveloping it in an aura of foreboding dread. 
The mansion's wooden doors creaked open, revealing a grand foyer adorned with moth-eaten tapestries and dusty chandeliers that flickered ominously. It was here that the American parties infamous throughout the region would come to life. Word had spread far and wide about these gatherings each one more macabre than the last. People from across the country curious thrill-seekers and brave adventurers made their way to the Hollow Groove House to experience the horror firsthand. They were drawn by tales of spectral apparitions that would join the festivities, their mournful cries echoing in the night, and by the promise of witnessing the mansion's supernatural secrets. As the clock struck midnight, the mansion's ballroom transformed into a nightmarish spectacle. Dim candlelight danced upon the walls, casting eerie shadows that seemed to move on their own. The attendees adorned in their finest attire moved with a nervous energy, aware that they were stepping into a realm where the line between the living and the dead blurred. Music, distorted and haunting, filled the air, its ethereal notes seeping into the souls of those present. But it wasn't just the music that chilled their bones, it was the feeling of being watched by unseen eyes, the sensation of cold fingers brushing against their skin, and the unexplainable drafts that sent shivers down their spines. As the night wore on, the partygoers began to notice peculiar occurrences. Glasses would shatter without warning, furniture would move of its own accord. And fleeting glimpses of ethereal figures would materialize and disappear in the blink of an eye. Whispers of long-forgotten secrets and tragic tales drifted through the air, leaving a trail of unease in their wake. The grand staircase, a centerpiece of the mansion, seemed to beckon guests with a magnetic force. Ascending its steps led to a corridor shrouded in impenetrable darkness. Only the bravest souls dared to venture forth, drawn by an irresistible compulsion to uncover the mysteries hidden within. Murmurs of an otherworldly presence grew louder as they delved deeper into the unknown. In a long-forgotten chamber at the heart of the mansion, an ancient mirror stood, its surface tarnished and cracked. Legend had it that this mirror was a gateway to the spirit world, a conduit through which the vengeful entities trapped within the mansion could cross over. Whispers of summoning rituals and desperate pleas for release filled the air as the attendees gathered around the mirror, their fear and curiosity warring within them. As the rituals unfolded, the boundary between the living and the dead blurred further. Flickering candles formed eerie patterns on the walls, and the mirror's tarnished surface began to shimmer with an otherworldly light. The air grew frigid, and an oppressive weight settled over the room. Then, with an otherworldly gust of wind, the mirror shattered, unleashing a cacophony of anguished screams and malevolent laughter that seemed to echo from the very depths of the abyss. Terrified, the guests fled the room, racing down the corridor and descending the grand staircase. But the mansion seemed to come alive around them, its walls shifting and morphing like a grotesque nightmare. The once inviting foyer now felt like a trap, its doors locked and windows barred. In the midst of their panic, the mansion's specters materialized, their ghostly forms contorted by centuries of torment. They reached out with skeletal fingers, their hollow eyes gleaming with a malevolent hunger. The attendees were enveloped by a maelstrom of terror, their screams blending with the mournful wails of the spirits. For those who dared to enter the hollow groove house that fateful night, there was no escape from the horrors that lurked within its walls. The mansion consumed them, body and soul, becoming a part of its twisted narrative. And as dawn broke, casting its feeble light upon the cursed mansion, it stood once more in eerie silence, waiting for the next ill-fated Pertigors to unlock its secrets and awaken the terrors that lay dormant within.